How did the defense grade out against Clemson overall? Uh, okay, uh, we had some missed opportunities. Uh, kids played their tail off. Uh, we got to do a better job coaching that. The drive before the half, that was 100% on me. Uh, Should have been more aggressive, tried to be. Uh, got spooked a little bit. They threw the ball down the field. We had an opportunity to make a play, and we didn't. But uh, overall, our kids play extremely hard. Uh, and, you know, you, you could see the passion that they play with. But at times, we got to play a little smarter. Uh, we have to just do our job. I think we started pressing a little bit too much. And, again, that falls on me, not the kids. Coach Dorn talked about the, the fact that they, they had a couple chances with the interceptions. Two interceptions that were kind of dropped. Does that just kind of reinforce to the kids that every play, it's just yeah. so important? Yeah, every play matters. Uh, and, and, you know, again, it's a game of inches. We had we had a direct hit on the quarterback on about the four or five yard line, ball exposed. And, uh, you know, we kind of hesitate a little bit and could have had an opportunity there to get a ball out. So, but, uh, you know, what we have to do is make this a learning experience. And I told the kids on Sunday, nobody feels sorry for us right now. And uh, what we have to do is jump back on the horse and, right again and so we got to get ready and, and uh you know we're a little bit pissed off you know it's going to be a, a great atmosphere saturday night looking forward to watching the guys bounce back you guys yeah. haven't faced jordan travis yet because of the injuries to him but what are your impressions of him on film uh he's a very athletic kid uh, can run uh you know the one thing that i see him doing now he's scrambling to throw the ball so we have to do a great job on plastering and coverage once he breaks contain uh and we have to do a great job with our pass rush lanes and keeping him in the pocket because he is a threat to get out and throw a ball down the field. And he throws the ball really well on the run. So uh, we have to do a great job with that and, and make sure that we get stay locked in on our coverage and, uh, and you know, play within the scheme. Just out of curiosity, I know you have to look at the film or the video. Or the thing, but did, did the ball come out on Shipley's hand as he was crossing? Yeah, I don't, I don't get paid money to ref, so I don't know, <laughs> I know my opinion, but uh, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Pretty, it was pretty close, though. Obviously. Yeah, it was really close. Yeah, really close. And I don't know what to review, if they were reviewing where his knee was down or if they were reviewing where if the ball was out or not. So, Does it help you play in a team like Florida State coming off a loss because they'll have your attention right away? Oh, yeah. They, you know, that, that's the thing. This is the best Florida State team we've played since I've been here. Uh, so... You know, we faced them uh, the last two years of coordinating, and, and again, somebody mentioned earlier, but this is the first time we're, we're facing Travis, and he makes them different. So they're skilled uh, wide out. They got a three-headed monster running back. Uh, so we're, we're going to be up for a challenge. This is the best offense to date that we have played. What does it say about the depth in the secondary that at one point you had three starters and a backup all out in the second half? Yeah, it, it got a little scary, uh, that's for sure. but. You know, we were an injury away from uh, Coach Mitchell or Defoe going after <laughs> Freddie. So, uh, you know, we had to uh, we had to be careful what we were doing. And, you know, but our guys bounced back. They're, uh, they're great kids. They're fun to coach. And, you know, again, it's been a rough couple of days for them. And hopefully we take it out on somebody on Saturday night. You, you mentioned Graydon. the players in. Mentioned Graydon the film. How good was Fagan before he got hurt? Really good. He was playing well. Uh, made a couple of huge tackles. Uh, the tackle down on the goal line on the quarterback was a big play for us uh, to hold him to a field goal. So, uh, you know, again, we need everybody out there. We need to have a great week of practice. Put it behind us. That game's over. Let's move on to the next one.